everybody. Going to college is hard enough for teenagers just out of high school, but for people of color going to a predominantly white university, the experience can be difficult, strange, even ugly at times. UW grad and Boeing employee Lul Mangesha wrote a book called The Only Black Student to serve as a guide for underclassmen going through the same thing he once did. And he wasn't that far off. Out of 5,000 incoming freshmen at UW in 2009, only 131 were African American. Since publishing his book, Lul has become something of an ambassador to schools baffled by the black experience. Please welcome Lul Mangesha. Hi. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. Let's update what's happened to you because you have finished your master's now in science uh, and information management from the information school at UW yeah, past right. spring, right? And you received your undergraduate degree in economics at UW Correct. as well. Whew, that must be nice to have all that behind you. You're working at Boeing. I am. Upward and onward. <laughs> yeah. So I started to, you might have noticed, I am not black. And so um, <laughs> when, I, when I began scrolling through this book, I thought, okay, I'm going to skim this baby. And then I really got into it because you let us walk in your shoes. Right. And I'm going to guess that's why you wrote this, but tell me a little bit about it because I really appreciated reading it. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, I, I started writing the book because I had about four or five guys that I was mentoring on campus and they had questions about how to navigate the college environment. So they kept coming to me and I'd write down their questions and I'd work with my own mentors and we just started writing more and more and before I knew it I had a book in front of me. So um, I never intended to be a writer, it's just something that kind of came together. And um, once I published it I had a lot of support and feedback from people at the University of Washington, uh, Rainier Beach High School, different different uh, stakeholders, you know, that want to make sure students uh, from lower socioeconomic backgrounds are doing well. Right. Well, we all need to be mountaineers. You know, right. we need to set some ladders and ropes for the people coming behind us, and you did a great job with Thank that. You. Tell me a bit about how you grew up. Uh, well, I, I grew up in San Diego until I was about 10 years old, and then I uh, moved to Seattle, and I went to Rainier Beach High School, in South Seattle. Uh, my family is from Ethiopia, so we're uh, first generation to this country. So there's pretty much a navigation within the U.S. You as, bet, as yeah. an immigrant, and then also a navigation to college because my experiences were a lot different than my parents. So, and, and you, and, which makes it kind of to me that's a double layer of difficulty because you can't right. really go back to them and say what did you do in this right. circumstance because right. you're having an original experience. Right, right. And be because I had that original experience I was viewing everything. Maybe I was a little hypersensitive but whatever the case was I was able to look at things through a very unique window and I just kept documenting things and helping other people as they navigated the college. When I was uh, uh, an upperclassman at the University of Washington. I was a student ambassador through the Office of Minority Affairs and I would go to different high schools and, and encourage students to come to college because of the experiences I faced. So, um, I think yeah. that's, I mean, it's a wonderful thing because there are experiences in here where things did not go well right. or where, you know, people, um, I, I don't even want to go down the list. I mean, right. we all know what they are right. and we all know, you know, that this has got to be really difficult, but mm. you took that and mm. went someplace really positive with it, which I just think is incredible. Right. I mean, college in itself is a great experience that I want every student to get the opportunity uh, to experience. Uh, there are going to be challenges and some are going to be specific to being a student of color, or being a student from a lower socioeconomic background, or being a student from a rural community, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean that you shouldn't explore college. You, you should go and, and don't let those things discourage you. If I was able to make it, I know people always say that, if I was able to make it, then you can make it, but really that is the case. So I wanted to make sure that students had something tangible that they could see and uh, that they could be successful. Well, you did a great job with that. And in fact, we have some living proof here today because we okay. have some people in the audience. Jordan, um, tell me a little bit. You're, are you a student? Yes, I'm a and, current student at UW. And so. you have read this book and it's helped you. Yes, definitely. Why, why was it so helpful? Um, basically, it was kind of like my guy, like Lowell said earlier, kind of a walk through through college. So during that time, I was a summer student, basically going through the Alpha program, which is also a high school program to help students intern at Boeing that summer. And they had brought Lowell in, and we had to read the book, and he came and talked to us. But after reading the book, I went into college that first year and found out that a lot of the things that happened in the book were certain, like, definite things that happened to me during my college year. So I can really vouch for pretty much every kind of event, because at one point or another, it actually happened. And I was like, wow, it's really surprising. So. Well, and it's nice, no matter what is going on in your life, just to know you're not alone. You know, right, it's not you. Right. Hey, everybody's having to deal with this who's walking in my shoes, and, and so I can learn from others and figure out what to do. Um, did it really change your experience? 
Um, actually, it, alternate, yeah, pretty much, because I would read it, and then when it actually happened to me, I would think back to the books, like, whoa, this actually <laughs> happened. So I would, like, call or, like, email Lowe's, like, you won't believe what happened to me today. <laughs> like, for one instance, uh, I guess at that time, I was sporting, like, a little bit of a mohawk hairdo, yeah. and there was a chapter in the book where it was, like, okay, people like to touch your hair. So I remember going to lecture one day, and someone just popped up behind me, can I touch your mohawk? And it was really funny, so I had to tell Lowe, I thought he'd get a joke out of it, so. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, p please, people, don't don't be touching other people. Um, Doug, you're a teacher. How has this helped you encourage your students? Well, um, I'm a teacher at Highline Big Picture High School, which is down at SeaTac, and uh, we're a public school, and we we have we're sending a lot of our graduates to college, uh, who are first generation college students, and graduating from high school is a big step, and then getting into college is another huge step, and then actually graduating from college is is proving to be very difficult um, for a lot of students. And um, I heard about Lowell's book through one of our shared mentors at University of Washington, Kathy Beyer. And um, I read the book and it was, it was like gold because uh, Lowell's able to communicate with students in a way that I would, you know, I struggle to. And he speaks directly to their experience and, and, and uh, the ability to kind of navigate the University of Washington for first generation college students is, is challenging. So, and he's been really generous with his time. He came down last year and spoke to our school and assembly and, and we actually used his book as a, as a book group and some students yeah. that read it interacted yeah. with him and he came back again this year and spent the whole day there and, and actually brought two of my students with me today who are part of that. And, so we're big fans of Lowell and That's Gage, incredible. Uh, yeah. So am I. <laughs> yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, this is what leadership looks like. Thank oh, you thank so you. very much. Thank I you. appreciate it. And it's a good read for anybody. You know, I mean, it's a good thing for all of us to walk in somebody else's shoes and learn something from this. And I did. So if you'd like to learn more about Lowell Mangesha and uh, get a copy of his book, just visit our website at king5.com slash new day. We'll link you right over. I promise you're going to like it. Up next, Sir La Table cooks with an original recipe that's perfect to add some spice to your Thanksgiving meal that is right after this. Thank you. Thank you so much.